These are the new off-grid knives, rapid fire models. Uh, they come in uh, these different colorations, all black or the coyote and tan. And what, uh, what Kerry has done over there at off-grid knives is taken two blades from some of their most popular knives. Uh, the, this is the Viper and the Stinger. Oh, this is too many knives in one hand and put them on the body of the rapid fire, which is an awesome knife. This is the rapid fire I keep in my car door. As you can see, it's a rescue knife with really gnarly teeth and a nice rounded tip and uh, super robust. Um, but he's made some improvements since that generation. Uh, and we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but these blades are just wicked. I'm a huge fan of the um, the Viper blade with its double jimping up here. Uh, but this, in this case, uh, it's so much more broad, uh, that blade. And so it's even slicier. It's the same, um, it's the same, actually, it's an even thinner blade stock and even broader. So that's going to be even more slicey than this thing is. And I love this knife. Uh, great action on this. Uh, the rapid fire is the um, assisted open from uh, from uh, off-grid knives. And to me, it's like the 300 series uh, or the 566 from Zero Tolerance. It's like, it's, uh, it's speaking of tolerance, it's like uh, one of the few assisted open opening knives that I actively like. Not just that I tolerate, but that I actively like. Uh, these come flying out like nobody's business, um, like the strongest auto you have. Um, and so it's a very gratifying uh, open and close. Uh, but he has made some changes since the last go around. Now, the handle itself uh, seems here. I'm going to put this over here. Those are the featured featured knives there. So... Uh, the handle has changed a little bit from here to here. Um, well, the only thing that's really changed, I guess, is the feel of it, because that clip, he's really uh, pushed down that spoon bill, and I, I very much appreciate that. Uh, that's the one thing ergonomically about this knife that always sticks out is this. And I've always thought, oh, I should just, uh, you know, take me two seconds to put that in my vise and just straighten it out. I just never have gotten around to it. I only ever think of it at red lights when I pull this out and put it in my hand and open it up and fidget with it. So um, here it's totally, totally comfortable uh, the way he's pushed that down. So you don't feel that clip at all. All you do feel is that nice contoured broad handle with the, uh, with the little hexagonal scoops cut out. It just feels so good in hand. And, um, you know, whether you're back here in a saber grip because you're going to thrust that point into something whilst dueling or you're up here really powering through a cut, it's very, very comfortable. This one is a great utility blade. Uh, I love that drop point Tonto style. It uh, really puts the tip kind of in a very practical place for uh, utility. And it also puts this edge in a very practical place for utility. So I like that design quite a bit. Um, coloration wise, I'm a big fan of the of the coyote, but let's take a look at the black. The black looks good too, uh, especially with this one, which is the Stinger. Let me close this one up. This is the Stinger based on the Stinger XL, and they have a, a, a Stinger EDC coming out soon, which will be cool. Uh, but I love that dagger shape, that bayonet grind. Um, really, really sharp. Now, uh, you know that I love off-grid knives for cardboard. They're like the best cardboard knives. And here we see the stoutest grind uh, that I can think of on any folding, um, folding knife from off-grid knives. And still, this thing is a monster through cardboard. Uh, so it just does really great. And that contoured handle is awesome. Um, so you get that same uh, same concept here, but an even broader blade. So it's going to end a thinner blade. So it's going to be slicier. Now, when I, I've noticed that when I close this one, the Stinger version of the Rapid Fire, I want to put my thumb on that jimping. Uh, otherwise, the swedge comes to such a fine edge 
that it's almost uncomfortable to press against, which means a couple of things. It's going to be great it in going into stuff. Look at that. It's barely there. Uh, but but what is there is a diamond cross section and comes to a very thin uh, edge up there without being sharp. It also means that with that broadness, it's going to be very uh, cutty and slicey. So you have a nice straight there and then a bit of a belly. Um, man, this thing is awesome. A great, great action on these, like I mentioned. I mean, it makes it makes any uh, unbattened down flesh on the arm shake like your second grade school teacher. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is awesome. Uh, wait a sec. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I thought he lost the lanyard hole. Lanyard hole is there. Uh, again, the recessed pocket clip. Great idea uh, with the flat screws. Everything nice and... Uh, even this one, of course, being a rescue model, has that glass breaker there. Um, this really is a, a confidence-inspiring uh, model here. Though, yeah, I might push that down. Having having these now and knowing how uh, great they feel in hand with the, with the flattened clip, definitely a plus. D2 blade steel, cryo D2 blade steel, not sure... Um, Wait, I I am sure we did discuss the benefits of that on the show. Um, I think it adds to toughness. <laughs> I do pay attention. It's just I talk to a lot of people. Carrie's an awesome guy. I I really uh, dig his designs. Uh, he has them um, OEM'd by Best Tech, and in this case, these are OEM'd at his Taiwan manufacturer. And um, yeah, they do an amazing amazing job. This one looks really nice. Just looking at it through the, uh, the viewfinder. Um, I really like the way that blade looks on that handle. And here too, I mean, this is all business. I like the all black. Uh, maybe I'm starting to veer towards the black um, in, in taste. Uh, but we'll be giving some of these away. I will be, of course, uh, adopting because uh, my collection is the definitive uh, collection uh, or close to that. So I need to make sure I have represent representatives. Uh, but then we will be giving a couple of these away, um, one of each. And then we have also, I still have one other knife from Off Grid to give away, the Grizzly. This is such a great knife. If you don't know what the Grizzly is, here, let me show you mine. Uh, this is my new version Grizzly. Look at that. Uh, camp kitchen knife. Very broad, very slicey blade. Chop, 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 chop. Scoop everything up. Uh, yeah, what a great... <laughs> Sorry about that demo. Uh, you know, I know you know how to cut food. Uh, but I love this knife. And uh, it, uh, though it's really marketed and um, recommended as a kitchen knife, uh, I did take my first generation version of this in the woods and chopped some... Uh, uh, chopped a sapling down. What the hell is this? I got, some, you know, stuff just gets schmutz sitting on my desk long enough. So anyway, love me the off-grid knives, uh, but I'm very much digging these. These are my favorite uh, so far version of the Rapid Strike. Uh, the first one, of course, had a blade that looked very much like this. It's not the first one. It's the original one. You can still get that. So imagine this. I had one and we gave it away here. It was like this, sort of, except handle to blade ratio, you know. Um, but yeah, that is awesome. That is sweet. And uh, again, like I said, really nice uh, action on this. Um, these are brand new. You got to check them out. Go to offgridknives.com. And then uh, they also, uh, we have a um, affiliate, which I'll put down below an affiliate link if you want to help the channel that, that helps um but in any case however you get one uh you should get one because these knives are awesome to me i put them on the same shelf as cold steel but with a uh, uh you know not not necessarily with the same exact uh strength like of the triad lock and all that i'm not going to go there or or in terms of um variety because cold steel has been around forever but in terms of uh seriousness and intensity like you want a folder that can do uh heavy duty jobs uh i definitely think off-grid knives are the an, an excellent way to go um 
especially, I mean, where the rubber meets the road for most of us is utility. And uh, they are my go-to knives when I have to cut up a ton of cardboard. Like if my wife says this weekend we're going to Ikea or something like that, well, that's when these get dusted off and put into action. Because uh, great tactical knives, I'm sure, no doubt. But just in terms of practicality, yeah, off-grid knives are awesome. All right. Well, thanks for watching and uh, go check out a uh, rapid strike of your rapid fire of your own. Rapid strike is a, a tops knife. Check out a rapid fire of your own. All right. Thanks.